Hello, water signs, sun, moon, and rising. This is Dean. I hope you're doing well. Welcome and a welcome back to my channel where you receive divine guidance and encouragement. To my current and new subscribers, thank you for your support as it is greatly appreciated because every like, comment, and share helps my channel to grow. So thank you so very much. And if you are browsing YouTube and you've come across my channel, it is not by coincidence. This is a divine connection. So go ahead, press the subscribe button and join us here because I would love to have you. So water signs, this is a general reading for you for the week of June the 6th, which comes to you from the Gilded Tarot deck. The message may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. With that being said, let's get to your message. God, most high, angel, spirit, guides, beings of love and light, the Holy Spirit. What is the message for the water signs for the week of June the 6th? That's for their well-being. This is for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right, what is your message, water signs? Let's see. You got the Four of Cups. So as you go through this week, you might find that there is a time where you're feeling like you're just bored. You're not feeling challenged. You're feeling like you're just stuck in a routine. But I feel like as you go forward this week, that the proactive action to take, right, to get yourself out of that energy is to really take an assessment of what blessings surround you and how God Most High is simply trying to bless you. To not focus your attention so much on the mundane practices, but open your heart up, open yourself up to receive a blessing that's going to help you to move out of this energy of being stagnant, of being bored. There is an opportunity for you to receive a gift that's given to you, that's going to fulfill you, that is going to help you shake off this feeling of boredom. But in order for you to do that, you've got to Take an assessment and just take a look around you this week and see how blessed you are and appreciate how blessed you are. Give thanks and express gratitude for how blessed you are and then be open to receive the divine blessing that's being handed to you by God, creator, source, most high, the universe, however you see the higher power. Focusing on the boredom can create the opportunity for you to miss out on a blessing. Don't miss the blessing this week. Don't miss your blessing this week, water signs. Be open to receive the blessing. It's not only going to be emotional fulfilling, but it will also be a blessing that you have been desiring that's being handed right to you this week so don't allow yourself to be distracted by routine that gets you off course when there's a blessing right in your face just open up your heart to receive okay so, also, now that I'm thinking about it, the number four is symbolic to stability. And so this blessing that's being handed to you from heaven will also create stability in addition to fulfillment. It will be fulfilling to you. It will be what you've been desiring but you've got to be open to receive it. Open your heart this week. Don't allow the routine 
to cause you to be stagnant, to take your attention away from the blessing that is right in front of you. Be open, open up your heart. Don't get distracted by boredom. All right? It's going to be for your well-being. It's going to create stability for you. Just be open. So, Water Signs, this is your message. I hope it has been helpful. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Thank you for um, just joining me here. I appreciate it. So, take good care of yourselves. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.